Okay, so nice to meet you, Riaz. Nice meeting you as well. This is our first time. Yes. On Zoom, right? Even in person, I've never seen you. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm only there on Tuesdays, actually. At the oh, school. yeah? Yeah, on Tuesdays. Have you seen me? No, I've never seen you. I don't think so. Yeah, because yeah. I'm always in a small room by myself. <laughs> Maybe you never find, found me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So, yeah, I want, I actually checked your, check your profile in our website. So I learned a little bit about you. Sure. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a, so, there's a yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I was very impressed. Um, you. you being in um, international education field for many years. Now, tell me about it. Sure. So um, the first um, thing that got me interested in kind of in this field is really living in New York. I think you get the opportunity to meet different kinds of people and then you really want to know more about them. So if you're a curious person, New York is the best place. Um, but just I really enjoy um, teaching because of that. But I'll come back to that. Um, just growing up, been in, being exposed to different kinds of things and different people, I um, went to um, pursue like a area like study studying international studies, which is all about kind of cultures and all about political science. So after I graduated, I didn't know what to do with that. I was like, what do I do with that? Mm -hmm. So I applied for a job and I the first job I found was internationally. So I saw that was cool. So mm -hmm. I taught abroad um, in the UAE and I taught in Turkey. And wow. it was a good, yeah, it was a good experience, but very different from the US. And then I said, okay, I need to come back because I really like the US and being able mm -hmm. to work in education is kind of what I'm interested in. So I I worked a little in kind of higher education just with mm. a lot of different colleges and like around F1 status but then I really realized that like teaching is something I'm very interested in so then I came at Blue Day and really mm. nice um, just to as I mentioned earlier to have that experience of you know living in New York and mm -hmm. being from New York and being able to teach students um, you know many different things but also giving them the small kind of insight into this is a good place to go this is something good to see that's what I really enjoy about teaching so far. Very interesting. Um, I think uh, New York is the best place maybe to be in an international um, education field, I guess. But now because of COVID, location doesn't matter, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. How does, how does it, you know, work for you? Like, do you, um, have you ever had this type of teaching style before, before COVID? Uh, before COVID, no. Um, I think before COVID, a lot of people saw teaching online as kind of um, not even an option. They didn't even consider right. Yeah, or if it was, it wasn't like live. It was like, okay, people would kind of, they would upload the material, then you come back to it. But I think um, it's really interesting because right now I'm teaching a hybrid class at Blue Data. Uh -huh. And I think students really enjoy the, like we meet each other once a week and they really look forward to that one time a week. So it's really being able to balance. I think in the future, you know, people, schools will have to decide, but it's really interesting to have that opportunity to just like, um, work with students and then they can kind of be flexible but also mm -hmm. meet them in person because you need that too because they really enjoy talking to you face to face as opposed to on the camera right 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 okay so a, a little bit personal question because um you know i'm from actually japan and i don't know if you've ever been to japan before i haven't no no okay so you know when i used to live in japan it's mm -hmm. all uh, especially I'm from a small, you know, small town, it's almost impossible to see uh, non-Japanese people there, you know, yeah. so it's, it's, I never ask the question like, oh, what's your um, parents' cultural background or anything like that, but in New York, you know, everybody's different, everybody's from everywhere, so, you know, we ask this kind of question sometimes. Um, is, is it okay I ask your parents' uh, cultural background? Sure. Sure, yeah. My parents are actually from a small country in South America um, uh -huh. named, named Guyana. Uh -huh. um, so a lot of people in New York have heard about it because it's part of the, like, culturally, it's similar to the Caribbean because mm -hmm. they, speak, they speak English there. It was kind of British colonized, mm -hmm. but my, like, great-grandparents were Indian. 
And so they were just kind of like moving from place to place um, looking for work. So I think that's what's great about New York, that everyone comes from everywhere and we're yeah. able to learn so like who would have known this was even a country and people speak English there. And then like living in New York is like you have your own little community because every group has its own little area too. So mm. yeah, my parents are from there, but my grand, like every generation, I think we've moved, you know, to a different place. Like, right. Mm -hmm. Ah, interesting, Guyana. My previous, previous landlord was from Guyana too. <laughs> yeah, so do you speak that language, Guyanese? Well, yeah, well, that's the thing. It's more of like a Creole. It's like a kind uh -huh. of, it's similar to Jamaican, like English. Uh -huh. It's kind of, it is English, but it's just like you need to know like some words. Uh -huh. And I, I, um, because my students ask that all the time about uh -huh. like different, different accents uh -huh. in the US. And I'm like, okay, there's a Southern accent, there's Eastern accent, but uh -huh. like it's, it's a different kind of English. So it's, it's right. very, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's its own language, but it's more of a, like a dialect. So uh -huh. um, yeah, a home with like, and even in my community, I live on, um, in the A train. I don't know if you're familiar with Leverage. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So yeah. I live on that end, and that there's all people just similar, same part of the Caribbean, and uh -huh. they all speak the same kind of language. So yeah, I do speak it a little, but it's more uh -huh. just kind of like you know, informal. It's not a full language. That's uh -huh. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. <laughs> okay, great. And also, um, other question is, what class are you teaching right now? Sure. Um, I teach public um, speaking too, and I also teach English. Um, it's ESL six. Yeah. Level mm, six. Okay. I see. So like a higher level. Yeah. I used to teach uh, like before I taught like academic writing, I taught public mm. speaking too before and mm -hmm. vocal, like there was a lot of different things that I've had, like I've been teaching since like July. So it's been like a lot of different classes. <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. I, I've heard a good thing about you from students. Oh, I hope so. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Great, great. Um, my last question, actually, other than teaching, other than international education, what's your interest? Are you, do you have any hobbies or what do you do for fun? Sure. Um, I think I definitely enjoy the news, which is weird. People think that's really strange, but I like staying up to date on like current events, but also the um, potential right now, it's kind of um, not something that I could do, but travel, um, uh -huh. being able to go to different places and just really immersing yourself. Even if it's mm. somewhere in the US, you just kind of go there and you relax and you see what the food's like and you see mm -hmm. like culture so I really like that kind of thing and I used to do it internationally before co before COVID but because of COVID you have to worry about all these restrictions so after COVID I'm hoping to have that opportunity again right 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 so once COVID finish I don't know if that's gonna happen but yeah. I think somehow we we need to live with it but um, you know some somehow it gets better and um, when we feel comfortable with traveling again What's the first destination for you to travel internationally next time? Uh, the thing is, I really want to go to somewhere in Southeast Asia, like I, Malaysia, Thailand. Mm -hmm. But the thing is the time. So like, mm -hmm. it's really about like, because I know it takes like at least a day to get there. Like, so I have to have mm -hmm. like a good amount of time. Like Europe is not that hard to do, but um, mm -hmm. somewhere in Southeast Asia for sure. Like, um, you know, I, any of the 10 countries I could think of, like Singapore, Malaysia, all those countries are countries that I really want to spend more time in. Nice. I hope that day will come soon. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great. Um, yeah, it was very nice to talk with you. Very interesting. And yeah. hopefully we, we have other, you know, uh, time to chat like this. But maybe next time um, I wanted to think of... Um, day or time or which class to record you know yes <laughs> actually yeah 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 like a 15 minutes is fine 10 to 15 minutes is fine that the best part of your class and then tell the students about that too they don't need to show their face or even you know voice doesn't matter but um, it's nice to show our brooded teachers um how they teach online you know um so when you decide when to do, okay. let okay. me know. Sure. Okay. Definitely. I, I think it will be next week just because when I think Thursday is um we they're off on Thursday mm -hmm. and then Wednesday they have a test. So it's just like one thing after the next, but definitely next week I'll be able to excellent, excellent. One last thing I, I have a request for you. Um please give some advice to international students, including your students, uh to 
um, keep working on learning, you know, foreign language, which is now uh, English for them. Mm -hmm. um, your tips or advice? Sure. I think um, especially when you have the opportunity to live in New York, it's really exploring the neighborhoods and being able to use English as like a good medium of like an in-between and um, like being very comfortable with doing it. So I don't know, for I, like I've been to Korea, for example, once, but I really enjoy Korean food. So I go to like K-Town, which is actually by the school, and I'll ask people, you know, oh, you know, about different, you know, stores, about different store, um, like chains that are popular in Korea and that are here as well. So I like to just ask them, you know, directly in English, because that's only I don't know enough Korean to speak to them. Mm -hmm. So really practicing and really having that opportunity to find things you're interested in New York, because there's everything. Mm -hmm. There's so many different things to see and really talking to people about it and not being afraid or shy because we all have that. But in New York, there's no right or wrong. Like, it's just really mm -hmm. about trying and making the effort. And as long as you make the effort, people really appreciate it. So I think that's kind of my biggest, like getting over the fear and then you'll see how much easier it, com it happens. It, it just comes to you after you get over the fear. Mm -hmm. That's a great advice. You needed to have a courage. Yes, that's the best. Ooh, the best Asking way questions, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> great. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's time, I guess it's a 15 minutes. So um, yeah, so that's it's time. So yeah, it's nice to talk to talk to you and hopefully see you again in a different opportunity. Thank you. Likewise. Take <laughs> yeah, care. And a happy new year. You too. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye bye.